Hey guys, it's Huff. I am back again. This is going to be an update on my Project 50 Pan Roulette. Um, there's a kid behind me who's on my computer. There is noise all around the place, but it, this is when I'm filming. So, I will quickly go through the things that I had finished last time. Um, met my goals on that kind of thing. Um, so, we have the organic care fig and papaya body wash um, I'd met my goal on it which was like only like half of it but I've actually since finished it completely there was the high lift cureplex bond sustainer in number three which is uh, it's like um, Olaplex just a different brand of it um, so I finished up that one um, I chucked out the Suntivity um, moisturizer because it's disgusting. I destashed the W7 photo shoot foundation because it was oxidizing on my skin. I used up the Urban Skin Co body balm. It was fine. Um, I finished up the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Mascara because it had started to do weird and horrible things on my eyelashes like make mess underneath. I destashed the Rimmel London Vinyl Max in Hypnotic because it made my lips feel weird and it kind of smells weird. I finished up the Harvey Prince Damask Rose perfume. I didn't really like that one very much. I met my goal on the um, I hit pan on this shadow here from the BH Cosmetics of That's Heart palette. And last time I had drawn a product because I was almost at the end of my Burt's Bees lip balm, which I have now finished and it broke and everything. So that one is done. And in the last fortnight, actually it's been more like three weeks, um, I've been a bit slack about filming. Just let me put my things back in my little container, which is getting too small for all the stuff that I'm putting in it. Um, the other day when I had my shower, I finished the Neon and Co hair oil stuff, treatment oil. So it was more like water than oil. It was really weird. I don't know if it really helped my hair any at all. So those are all the things that I have finished. Now on to the things that I haven't finished. Um, so I will actually be drawing a few out, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, the W7 Honolulu Bronzer. You can see it's got a dent forming in it. It's getting bigger every time. I've actually started using this as an eyeshadow rather than as a bronzer. Um, so I just tap my brush where the little dent is just working on the same spot so eventually I will hit pan that way I tend to use it as um, my crease transition type color um, the MAC Vegas Vault lipstick um, it really hasn't moved at all even though I've worn it a few times um, according to my line it doesn't look any different to how it did three weeks ago so it's kind of disappointing, but it is what it is, so I haven't even bothered marking that one. The next one is the LOL Blush Duo. I'm only working on the light side, which is this side here, and I work on this side here. It's, it's, it's getting a dent in it. Um, it will get there. I'm not too worried about it at this point in time. Blushes always take forever to work through, so it is what it is. Um, the YouTube Heart product, the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, I honestly have not used this at all in the last three weeks. I'm really kind of over it. I don't really like it that much. Um, my favourite hand cream, I've almost actually met the goal that um, I was intending. I'm all the way down there now and I was basically just trying to get like halfway so I'm almost there with that but I'm actually just going to keep on using that one at the moment um, where are we up to I teeny swizzle stick in midnight cowgirl 
I really only use this to <coughs> tight line my upper water line. It really, um, I've got a new mark on it, which is actually more like five weeks worth because I didn't mark it last time. Um, and it's really hard to mark. It's actually broken. So that's this one here. We're sort of around about here. It's, it's very slow moving because I only really use it to line my upper uh, waterline. Uh, the next one is the Essence Eyebrow Stylist. This one is harder to see progress in. I haven't really worn makeup a lot in the last sort of three weeks or so. Um, this one's a little bit harder to see progress on. Um, my aim is just to work this corner here and get rid of that. And I'm working slowly. It's getting there. I like using this, so I'm not really too worried about how long it actually takes. I just keep on using it. So that's that one. Um, This one is basically almost finished. This is literally like one, maybe two uses. This is the Nivea Light Moisturizing Day Cream. I don't think you're actually going to be able to see because it's white on white and it's really bright here. Um, there's a little bit left in the bottom and a little bit around the sides. That's probably no more than two days worth. So I'm actually going to, for the purposes of this video, count this as one of the ones that's finished. So. Um, I will be drawing a new one for that. Uh, the next one is the... Sorry, I didn't cross something out and it's confusing me as I look at it. Just uh, the next one is the uh, Starlux Ultra Olive Pencil. I've been using this quite a bit. This pencil is um, it's fairly soft and creamy, although it does set. Um, but I basically have to sharpen it every time I use it, which means I've actually made quite a bit of progress on it. So that's where we were in the last video. And that's where we are now. So I've actually made quite a bit of progress. If I was to use this every day, well, my camera did not like that. Um, if I was to use that every day, it would probably be going quite quickly. Wait, so the next one was my Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara. This is still going fine. Um, I'm wearing it today. No issues with it. It's not transferring. It's not doing anything stupid. So I'll just keep on using that until it starts doing something it's not allowed to do. Um, the next one, I actually can't really mark it. I've been trying to work out how much I've used, and I know I've used quite a bit. This is the Australis Mint Condition Lip Gloss. Since I finished the Burt's Bee, uh, the, the lip balm, the Burt's Bee's lip balm, um, I have been using this instead. I actually don't find this particularly moisturising. I have to put it on several times. And it does have quite a tint to it, so it ends up being quite red. Um, and the SPF that's in this would probably be out of date anyway, so I'm not using it for that purpose. Um, but I have used a, quite a bit and every now and then I see like bubbles and gaps in it. I have no idea how much is in here and how much is left and stuff and it doesn't squeeze down very well like I can do that but there's still some up there. There's lots of air in this particular packaging so yeah I, don't, I really don't know where I am. I've tried keeping it one particular way and it doesn't like sink down and I think the packaging is also actually coloured which makes it even harder to determine so I have no idea where I am with that. The next one is the Avon La Femme perfume. Um, I can't really hear it in the package anymore. It did spray out the last time I used it but that would lead me to think that there's really not very much in here. So this is another one that I'm going to draw one out for because this is basically done. Then we have the ones that were added last time. We have the W7 lipstick in some pink colour that has no name. I actually forgot to measure this last time. Um, I've worn it a few times. I'm wearing it today. It's only a mini. Um, it's actually quite a soft and creamy lipstick. Um, if I used it more often, it would probably go really quickly. Uh, and the last one is the charcoal mask. 
Uh, I honestly haven't even touched this. It was sitting in front of my computer, completely forgot about using it. Um, I, I must try harder. <laughs> so that is all of those ones. So I need to draw out three products and we'll see where we go from that. So here's my little container thingy with all of my product description things in it. So I'm just going to pull out three of them. The first one is a product you'd only buy on sale. That might be a bit hard. Um, uh, the next one is a face serum. I have lots of those at the moment, so that would be easy. And the last one that I'm drawing out is a recent purchase. So I will just go and find those and then I will be back. Okay, I am back with my three products. So the first one is the product I'd only buy on sale. I'm actually going to put a nail polish in. This is Essie's Beyond Cozy. Just a really nice silver nail polish. Um, I would only buy Essie on sale. It's not my favourite brand of nail polish. In fact, most nail polishes I don't ever buy on sale. Um, yeah, so... I'm not entirely sure where I'm at and of course I just shook it which really doesn't help so before I use it I'll actually mark this so that will actually help the next one was a face serum um, I got the Lacura advent calendar thing um, and it has lots of little serums in it so the one I'm going to put in is this one which is called power serum this is completely full. This is where it will start. Um, and with serums, you don't tend to need a whole lot of them. So, and I've been sort of wanting to have a reason to bust them out, basically. So, that is going to be the face serum. And the last one was a recent purchase. And that is going to be my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Fair. I originally bought um, the number 10, which is you'd think would be the lightest one. It's actually not, and it doesn't work for my skin tone. Whereas 15 Fair does work for my skin tone. And I've actually been really enjoying it, and now I kind of know the appeal that most people have in this product, which I didn't really know before, because the first time I used it, I really didn't like it. Um, because the colour was all wrong. So now that I have a colour that I actually like, it actually, I'm enjoying it. Um, there is this little, little spot right here, it's actually on like both sides of it, um, so I'm thinking that's probably about where I am, um, and that's where I'm going to put my starting marking point. I haven't had this for very long, but I have used it um, quite a bit, like every time I've done makeup. Um, I haven't really been buying a lot of makeup, so recent purchases... Just put a little mark on there. Recent purchase is a strange term really for me at the moment. <laughs> so those are my three new products that I'm adding in. I will try to make sure I update in like two weeks, but that will put it into the start of next year. I have actually decided just to keep on going with this until I get to the 50 products. I am currently at 13. So I'm just going to keep on going until I get to the 50 products before I stop doing this particular project. So if you want to subscribe, click down there, click the little bell next to it so that you get notifications when I upload a video, because YouTube's being a bit weird at the moment. Uh, leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pan type videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!